It's a joy to join you from my sabbatical. I'm David Peck, and with the work that Cordelia Moyes and Randy Harris has been doing on three history panels that will shortly appear in front of church along Orange Street. These panels are part of the third phase of our capital campaign that's focusing on the renewal of our churchyard. The panels will both offer a welcome to visitors and neighbors to our campus and invite them more deeply into our story of St. James here for 275 years. The panels remind us of those inspiring lives that draw us to this place, as well as tell a new story that is more inclusive and truthful and operates as one that invites us into repentance, especially around our African-American history and that sad history in our chapter of early life in our first hundred years in which the Episcopal Church gave far too much comfort and complicity with the slavery and racial servitude of our sisters and brothers in this city. So of those three panels, I want to share a bit more about the Black History and St. James panel. In it, we will tell a deeper story of how it is that we missed the mark in the original Greek in our New Testament, the word for sin, hamartia, speaks of an arrow that falls short. How is it that we fall short of the mark, the purpose of our God-given lives, which is, of course, to love our God and our neighbor as we do ourselves. So it is that in this panel, we will be called to learn more deeply about that chapter of this parish's life so that we can repent of it and find again that joy of inclusion, diversity, and equity that is God's will for all of creation and his children. So it is that we will tell with pride that story of Nathan Baxter being called as our first black rector, and from here, the first African-American bishop of our diocese of central Pennsylvania. In being able to tell our story more truthfully, more vulnerably, more honestly, we will find ourselves able to invite people into this community of such beautiful history, of such bravery, and innovation so that we can again rejoice to know that we are all children of God, seeking that faith, hope, and love that is on offer here, a faith, hope, and love that is not afraid of sin and knows that our repentance is our journey of truth setting us free. Hi, I'm Cordelia Moyes, the parish historian who is working on a new social history of St. James. My work as a social historian is helping the parish do the hard work of learning a deeper and more complex version of its past so that it can fulfill its goal of creating a more inclusive and accurate history. This is a story that includes women and people of colour, as well as one that equips us to better stand against racism and exclusion in all its forms. It's such a powerful statement and coming together that the Episcopal Church's first presiding bishop is himself going to be here with Bishop Baxter, with Mother Shana, and the Union of Black Episcopalians in order to dedicate and bless these panels on which we hear the presiding bishop tell us when we ask that most urgent question, how did Christians ever come to think it was not sinful to be in church with slaves and those who were held in racial servitude? He answers that most urgent question by saying, It's what happens when Christians play games instead of forming followers of Jesus of Nazareth. Slavery was a failure of formation. The church lost its way 
its roots, its origin. It strayed away from Jesus of Nazareth. 